everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I am the CEO of Rebecca Grace Designs and today we're going to be talking about submitting a sitemap to Google Search Console. Now a sitemap is basically a list of all the URLs and image metadata that's on your site to show Google or other search engines the structure of your site. And it's important for Google to know this structure so that they know how the pages are related to each other and the priority of the pages. So your homepage, where does that link to? How do your URLs and pages kind of all link together? The structure of your website. The good news is Squarespace creates this for you. Um, so your sitemap will be at your domain name slash sitemap dot xml so the first thing i want you to do is go find your sitemap and type this in it should look something like this there's no styles to it it's just a list of different links and their priority okay and any images that are there so once you have this you'll want to create a google search console account so if you have a google account then you already have a google search console account so what you can do is go to search.google.com slash search console about and i've provided this link below and you're going to click start now and then you'll sign in with your google account and so this is mine you're just going to sign in with the gmail that you already have okay and now we need to add a property. So yours right now will not have a property. This is my um, console account, but it will look blank. It'll ask you to add a property. Um, but the easiest way to do this, the easiest way to verify this property is actually through Squarespace. So once you already have signed into Google Search Console and you have your sitemap opened up, what you're going to do is go to your Squarespace account and you're going to click Analytics and then search keywords. And in here, you can connect your site with Google Search Console. So you're gonna click connect, and then sign in with your uh, Google Search Console account email, whichever email you would like it in, okay, and click allow. And it will now say you're connected. Now, no information will really show up yet. Um, it takes some time for this to actually um, switch all the records over and all of that sort of thing, but it is connected. That's the easiest way to get it connected. If it will not connect that way, then in Google Search Console, you can click to add a property and you're gonna type your domain in there. So I'm just going to use the Squarespace domain of this trial site. So I'm going to put it in and click continue. And then it will show up um, a TXT record you need to add to your site. Um, so if you have your domain name on Squarespace, then what you're going to do is copy this information here. And you're going to go to settings, domains, and click on your domain name. Now it will need to be a, a domain name that you have purchased, not the built-in domain of Squarespace. So I'm just gonna jump over to my site so it shows you, I can show you what it looks like. So you're gonna click into your uh, domain name and you're gonna click the advanced settings and you're going to have to add a DNS record. So what you're going to do is scroll down to the bottom and you're going to click and choose a TXT record. Okay, you can keep this as at, okay, that is the host name you're gonna keep as at, and then in the text, you're gonna paste the link you got from Google Search Console and click add, okay? If your domain is purchased from somewhere like GoDaddy, you're gonna go into GoDaddy, click on the domain and select to manage the DNS records. And then you're gonna do the same process. You're gonna click add, select a TXT record, the host is at, and then the TXT value is the information you got from Google Search Console, the, the code that you copied. Okay, and then you're gonna click save. Now again, this could take up to 72 hours to be verified. Um, so it may be that you can't actually verify and you're going to click verify later. Okay. 
Once your site is verified, it will look like this. It won't have any data again because it takes time to build this. But what you're going to do is click on sitemaps. And then you're going to put in here sitemap.xml and that domain name there should be the same that you found up here. Okay, so whatever is here, whatever domain you're on, Squarespace has yours at sitemap.xml and you're going to click submit. Okay, and you'll want it to say a status of uh, success. Since this is a trial site, it's not going to be able to fetch it because it's hidden. Um, but your domain should say success. And it may take some time. Um, and if it couldn't fetch, you can click and see, you know, what's the problem. Again, mine says sitemap could not be read because I'm using a built-in domain in Squarespace, not um, a domain that I've purchased. But that is it. That has, is how you submit your sitemap to Google Search Console. Now in Google Search Console, it will also keep you updated on mobile optimization. If you have a, a page on your site that's not optimized for mobile or has any issues, you'll get some warnings in here. You can also then use your analytics. So let's go back to analytics. In here, once you have some data available, you'll be able to see which search keywords um, your site is being shown for. So it'll tell you which terms your site is ranking for. And if it, you're not ranking for the terms that you like, you can then go through and try and optimize your site for that. Or you can see what things people are um, searching uh, so that you can add those to your site um, if you're looking for blog ideas and that sort of thing. So if you liked this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. If you're watching this on my blog, make sure you sign up for the freebie in my footer so that you can be notified when I post new tutorials. Until then, that is how you submit a sitemap to Google Search Console to improve your SEO.